So I watched Jaws The Revenge, otherwise known as the one where the shark roars and explodes for no reason. Rewatching this again and seeing a bit more behind the scenes stuff and that kind of thing, I never realized that it was a direct sequel to Jaws 2 and completely ignores Jaws 3D. And honestly, I, I can't blame it for that. <laughs> The plot of the movie is another shark kills Ellen Brody's youngest son, Sean, and Ellen does the most logical thing in a crisis such as this. She goes on a holiday in the Bahamas and falls in love with Michael Caine, whose name in the movie is Hoagie. Jeez, we hardly made a dent to that 10 foot Hoagie. But that is interrupted as the shark seeks revenge. Oh, the movie title makes sense now. It seeks revenge for some reason against the Brody family, and for some reason, Ellen has a psychic connection with the shark for some reason. I think the shark is supposed to be the offspring of the original shark in Jaws, and it just, as sharks do, they're very paternal and maternal, and of course the offspring, like humans, would like to take revenge. And also the Ellen having a connection with the shark is absolutely fucking stupid. Lorraine Gary is the only actor to reprise her role. Her older son is no longer Dennis Quaid. They ignore three anyway. And now it's Lance Guest. The movie is nonsensical and utterly ridiculous. I wasn't sure if Jaws 3D or this one was the worst Jaws movie, and after watching this again, I can definitely say that Jaws The Revenge is the worst Jaws movie. The shark looks at its worst here, and it can swim in the most unlikely and illogical of places. It's like next to no thought went into this movie. You don't care about anyone in the movie, except for maybe Michael Caine, because we all recognize Michael Caine. And I just love his delivery of, oh shit, when the shark attacks him on the plane. Oh shit. Now for a movie sequel where usually the stakes have to be amped up and the body count is higher, very few people die in the movie. I think only two people die off the top of my head and they have a fake out with another one and that's it. This really isn't worth watching unless you want to see it through the lens of a comedy movie because it's just that batshit stupid and doesn't make sense and has some really strange moments in it. So you could probably get drunk and have a good time watching this. But other than that, I can't see any other reason as to why anyone would want to watch this movie except for me because I'm a fucking moron. So even if I recommend the movie or not, you should see the movie for yourself and come up with your own opinion. You can comment your opinions in the comment section down below or let me know how my opinion is wrong. Thank you for checking out my little channel. If you enjoyed the video, you can like the video or dislike the video, subscribe and check out my other videos and social medias. There are links all around the place. As always, more videos to come. Have a good one.